Hello, Internet Video Pals. So what's going on here? Let's take a look at today's experiment. I figured I would follow up a little bit on the thing I did the other day where I made this stop button for the Glowforge, um, as you can see over there. And I mentioned in that one that it would be nice if when you press the stop button, since that only tells the Glowforge to stop printing under software control, it would be nice if it let it do that and then do its uh, clean stop, but then waited 10 or 15 seconds or so and then just killed the power to the whole thing. And I figured here what I might do with this one is try to implement this concept perhaps a few different ways. And these things are often motivated by digging through the parts bin and seeing what I have lying around. So one of the first things I found in the bin was an LM358 op amp. So I figured why not build that into a comparator and have a little RC circuit and use that to, uh, to implement the delay. So that's exactly what's going on here. There are a lot of wires on this breadboard, but there really are not a lot of components. We've just got a resistor and a capacitor over here forming a simple RC circuit. And this switch over here is used to control that. So this switch is simulating pressing the big red stop button. When the switch is on, the capacitor charges up to five volts. And then when the switch is turned off, the capacitor's voltage begins to decay through the resistor. And the op amp here compares, if I can find where my pointer is, the op amp here compares that voltage to a set reference voltage, which is set by this trimmer pot here. Um, and that all controls turning on and off this transistor over here. So this transistor stays on until the op amp sees that the voltage from the capacitor has gone below the reference voltage, and then it turns off the transistor. And that transistor is feeding the input to this power switch relay here, and the relay is powering this illuminated sign just for fun over here. So I thought it would make an interesting demo. What we've got over here on the oscilloscope is the reference voltage in green, which you can possibly see is set to around three volts right now. And here is our, since this is switched on, you can see the switch active and the light is on, uh, the capacitor is charged up to the full incoming five volts. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip the switch off and when I flip the switch off, the capacitor will begin to discharge. You'll see the green line will go down. When the green line, sorry, the, the yellow line will go down. I don't know my colors. When the yellow line goes below three volts, which is where the green line is, then the relay should shut off and the sign should deluminate. Thus simulating, again, the whole point of this is this is a simulation of what would happen if I hit that big red button Flipping the switch would be like hitting the big red button. I want the, the machine to continue to run uh, for a little while with a delay so that the fans can continue to exhaust any smoke. But then for safety, after 15 seconds or so, I'd like it to, to shut off automatically. So I've got this set up here and I'm going to back up a little bit so we can see what happens. Flipping the switch, three, two, one, flipped. And you can see now nothing's happened yet because the capacitor voltage is slowly decaying. And there we go. So as soon as that voltage um, goes below the three volt set point, everything shuts off. The other thing you can do is adjust with a screwdriver and the tongue at the right angle, as they say, and adjust the set point here. So if I wanted this to go off more quickly, I could turn that way up. And now when I flip this switch, it shouldn't take nearly as long. Three, two, one, flip. And there you can see the delay is shorter. So that's the general idea behind this thing. Uh, again, this is uh, an op amp comparator circuit and an RC delay there. Now I have some other parts so I intend to rebuild this a couple of different ways and get a few more videos out of it. I hear some of you electronics engineering nerds yelling at me about hysteresis and Schmidt triggers and things I should be taking into account. Don't worry, that will come later. So that's all I got for now. Bye.